woman is a small city in central Ukraine. Every autumn it used to receive more visitors than the population of the city itself. Every year Hasidic Jewish community, they gather here in Uman from all around the world to celebrate Happy New Year, Rosh Hashanah. It is highly important for them to be in this exact place in this time of the year. When we start coming here in 1988, and I remember the first years we come 200 people, after this we come a thousand people, and it's go up, 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 and let's say the big Rosh Hashanah is was like 90,000 people. During his life, the founder of the Bratz of Hasidic movement, Rebbe Nachman, strongly encouraged his followers to spend Rosh Hashanah with him. When he died in 1810, he was buried in the Umen Cemetery. Since then, the tradition of annual pilgrimage to his grave began. He said, and after I died, I want everybody come to me in Rosh Hashanah. I mean, the Nova God for the Jewish. I say, when you come to me, I promise you good here for you, for family, for children, for everything. This year's celebration of Rosh Hashanah is different from all the rest. Due to the ongoing war, there are no direct flights to Ukraine. Some pilgrims had to travel for more than two days just to get to Uman. I told you the truth. Uh, I was by the, by the border from uh, Moldova and the border from, uh, from uh, Romania. It was a little bit hard to, to cross the border, but I come to the border from Ukraine across one to three, <laughs> very, very, very quick, quick up. The Ukrainian government warned Jewish community about the risks of visiting Uman. But despite the war, the decision was made to let the pilgrims attend the grave of Rebbe and celebrate. The Ukrainian National Police is overseeing the pilgrimage and all the safety measures in Uman. We are here on the 14th of August, and we have never heard of one of the air. Уманщину обстріляли на початку війни, це було в лютому місяці, 14 чи 15 вересня, то над Уманщиною спрацювала протиповітряна оборона і збили ракету. Now Mikvas, the pools that are part of the ritual serve as bomb shelters. During our time in the city we witnessed multiple air raid alarms, but rarely saw anyone go hide in the shelters. Во-первых, конечно же, да, мы очень благодарим вообще Украине в целом, что даже в такую ситуацию, как бы военное положение, все равно нам разрешают вижать. И да, разрешили как бы по паломничество. Но нас это не пугает, потому что Рабинахман обещал, что каждый, кто к нему придет. Он будет его, скажем так, юристом на небесах. People don't fret. Maybe he's worried, but don't, we don't stop to live, you know? The show must go on anyway, okay? If you, if you give to your enemy, you fret and you stop to live, so he's win. Although the majority of the pilgrims tend to be apolitical, most of them know who the real aggressor is in the situation in Ukraine. I'm not uh, in the politics, but, but, but usually I'm thinking the Russia stealing, stealing the big body from, from Ukraine, uh, Lugansk and Krim and, uh, and Russia coming to Ukraine, not, not Ukraine going to steal from Russia. It's, it's a uh, trouble to sing this. Despite ongoing war in Ukraine, despite long travel time, despite absence of flights, thousands of people still have managed to come and pray for peace all around the world. Here's a place of praying. You see all the places. You can say this is the most uh, holy prayer in the year. We believe that all the success of the world is depending on those days and about, about us being here. Uh, we are living in Israel all the time. We feel wars. Now when we're here, we see it strongly. All these wars, what happened now. So for sure, it's, uh, it's uh, affect the, the, the praying. 
все евреи, которые тут находятся, молятся за успешность Украины, за завершение войны, чтобы как можно быстрее все это закончилось, чтобы больше людей приезжало сюда. Потому что очень многие люди не поехали в Украину из-за войны. И мы только за то, чтобы люди смогли сюда летать, смогли переезжать сюда, в Умань, там, где наш пророк нам сказал переезжать сюда каждый год. Конечно, мы благодарны всему украинскому народу за то, что вы воюете, в том числе за Рабинахмана, за, за вашу землю, за нашу землю. Как бы мы, за, мы только за мир и да, славу Украине, героям славу. Микита Ильченко, United24 Media.